And I think we are live. Uh, hello. hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome to uh, our webinar, Focus 8 to 10, What Would You Do? My name is Drew, and I'm from Lyon. And today I'm joined by... Uh, I am Angelique. I'm from Chicago, from the United States, and I'm also in Lyon. So whoever is watching, who are you and where are you from? If you can write it in the comments, I can see already uh, two people. Uh, Antonio, hello, Antonio. Hi, Antonio. Tony. Antonio or Tony? Yeah, Tony. Hi, Tony. Antonio, Tony to his friends. Uh, good morning, Antonio, or maybe good afternoon, perhaps. Uh, who else is here? Hi, Inez. <laughs> Is Inez one of our students? No. She's no. not. Do you know Inez? I do know Inez. Oh, okay, okay. And who do we have here? Monica. Hello, Monica from Hi. Novara. We have a quite a selection of different regions here. It's nice. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Jack, Jack, <laughs> Jack, Jackino. I don't know. I'm sorry, Jackino or Jack. Uh, hi, I'm Jack. I'm from Salerno. I love that. Jackino, nice. Jackino. Jackino. And we have the the question at the bottom of the screen. If you could travel somewhere right now, where would you go? Uh, and I think Monica would like to go to the sea or to the mountains. And Drew, how about for you? So uh, where would you like to go if you could travel anywhere right now? Oof, uh, I would like to travel just somewhere outside, like not in the city, like it could be the mountains, it could be the beach, it could be the countryside. I just want to get out of the city and, and get some fresh air. How about you? Where would where would you travel? I I think the same. I think I would like to go to the beach because I can see the sun from my apartment. It's beautiful outside every single day, but I cannot enjoy the sun. And I really love to sunbathe or to suntan. So um I think I would really like to go to the beach maybe, but it would have to be open, so. <laughs> uh, yes, and it's like so close, but so far, isn't it? Like we can see the sun, but uh, you would like to go to the beach and so would Marie. Marie from Lyon, she would also love to go to the beach. We can go together. Go together. <laughs> Very nice. Oops. Ah. The Caribbean, nice destination. Totally. I like this word because, Drew, do you pronounce it Caribbean or Caribbean? Ah, yeah, I, I would say Caribbean, mm. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. And how, would you, how would you pronounce it? I, you know what's funny? I think it's not really funny, but I think I pronounce it both ways. Um, I don't know. Let's see, Caribbean, I think. Caribbean? Yeah, hmm. but I hear a lot of the uh, Caribbean, so that's Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Just Mon asking. Monica would like to go out. Just out. <laughs> out anywhere, but we have to stay at home. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, here we go, here we go. I've, I've been given some advice. Let's hear it. <laughs> Try to read Giacchino instead of Giacchino for the right Italian pronunciation. Thank you very much, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Shall we uh, get into the focus? Yeah, let's start it. So, what would you do um, for our activities today? Uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, second and third conditional revisions, uh, asking and answering hypothetical questions. So let 
us kind of get into it. Drew, do you want to read? Yeah, so second conditional. When is the second conditional used and how is it formed? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can write in the comments, please, how is it formed and when or why do we use it? Yeah. Oh, hi, Etienne. <laughs> Etienne from Old Leon. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I can reveal vodka. Yeah. It's vodka. Straight. Straight. It's a very stressful experience being on YouTube, so I need to drink vodka. Mm. I think if you can tell, the redder he gets, uh, you know, the more vodka yeah. he's drinking. Yeah, I get a bit more excited, a bit redder. And Tatiana, hello, Tatiana. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm Tatiana from Leon. I'd like to go as further as possible. I need to take this <laughs> for I'm this video. Tony's not sure. He's not quite sure. Are you? Do you have to grab your uh, your Mayas uh, notebook? <laughs> On brand. Very nice. Thank you. I'm uh, full form today. So, <laughs> so what do we think for the second conditional? A clue is the form is on the question that's going past the screen. Uh, mm. We have a very clever answer <laughs> from Pierre. <laughs> so the second conditional is used after the first conditional. Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> what is the first conditional? No. What is um, <laughs> so we so have the second conditional. Should we should we show them? Should we I think so. There's not many not many answers in the comments yet, so maybe we should reveal it. All right. So second conditional. Um, we use with if plus past simple and your would plus your bare infinitive. So let's and take a can, look. You can see that as well in the bottom of the screen. If you could travel, so that's the past, if you could. And then the would plus bare infinitive is where would you go. Mm hmm. Uh, we do actually have a good answer from Jack. So if plus past simple would plus bare infinitive, right? It is used for hypothetical sentences in the present. Yeah, very good. Uh, he's not. He's not sure. <laughs> like maybe. It's a good answer. You're you're right, Jack. Good answer. Um, and then I see Monica says we use if. Yeah, we use if for sure. Drew, do you want to um, read some of the examples that we have? I shall indeed. So example, if I won the lottery, I would sail around the world. Mm -hmm. If I could live anywhere, I would live in New York City. If I were taller, I would play basketball. I think you're pretty tall already. Do you play basketball? I do not play basketball. I don't really like basketball. I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh, we have someone else from Lyon. We've got Amory. Hello, Amory. Hello, Amory. Nice bow tie. Very yeah. smart. Yeah. Very smart. So, let's look at this first question. If I won the lottery, if you won the lottery. Huh. So all of the people in the comments, all the people watching, if you won the lottery, what would you do? Where would you go? What would you buy? Type your answers in the comments. And while we're waiting for that, I'll say, Angelique, what would you do if you won the lottery? Oof. Uh, if I won the lottery, I think... I have to say, I think if I won the lottery, I would buy a house on an island. Mm. I think. What What would you do if you won the lottery? Pretty similar, I think. I think yeah. you've stolen stolen my idea. Um, you can't come to my island, Drew. <laughs> where Where would your island be? Uh, I think 
I would definitely do it in Greece. Mm. So if I won the lottery, I would buy, I would buy an island. No, I would buy a house on an island in Greece. You could, you could, if it was for Euro millions, you could buy an island maybe. I think so. 50 million, 100 million. Yeah. I, but I don't know that I would want to be so secluded. I, I think just to be surrounded by water would be uh, perfect. Yeah, and those Greek islands with the lovely blue water, and oof, that would be nice. What about you? You said you would do something similar. Yeah, and it might even be Greece as well. Oh. It might even be Greece. Um, I don't know. I've never been to the Caribbean, and the mm. Caribbean islands look nice. Mm. And I do like rum, <laughs> lots of rum in the Caribbean. But I love I love Greek food as well. So, I was going to say, mm. rum or ouzo? Probably rum. Okay. If you have to choose between rum and ouzo, but Greek food is so good. Mm. Food is so nice. Inez, if I won the lottery, I would travel all over the world. Very oh good. Pierre. If I won the lottery, I would buy a ticket to be on the first trip to Mars. Risky business. Yeah. Claudia joined. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Oh. Monica, if I won the lottery, I would travel around the world or buy a house for my mum. Why not both? Yeah. Both. Everyone's happy. Very nice. And Tatiana, if I won the lottery, first of all, I would open my S in Russia and then I would travel around the world. Woohoo! <laughs> Maya's Moscow. Yeah. Maya's St. Petersburg. Tatiana, would you would you work there? Would you be a teacher? Would you be the big boss? What would you mm. who would you be in the school? And <laughs> if I won the lottery, I will buy a huge boat to invite people on it. Just be careful, Etienne, because you used will. But second conditional, second conditional, we need to use would. Mm. If I won the lottery, I would buy a huge boat. Um, I don't think he's going to invite you on it now, Drew. No, no, my invite's been cancelled, hasn't it? I suppose the first two questions are pretty similar. If you win the lottery, if you could live anywhere. Yeah. Because if you if you win the lottery, you can live anywhere. The, the third question I like, if I were taller, um, but maybe not if if you were taller, if something was different about you, what would you do if you were shorter? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Oof. If I was shorter. Yeah. Because Drew is pretty tall, everybody. You can't tell from the camera, but. If I get down and you get really high on yours, maybe it'll look like. Uh... Look like I have a very, very long neck. I don't like it on camera. <laughs> Are you like sitting down like this? If I sit like this, okay. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I were, maybe, maybe if I were taller, professional beach volleyball player. <laughs> no way. Just travel the world, tropical destinations, playing volleyball, maybe. You'd wear like a, a, li a little Speedo or? S speedos all day, every day. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying image. Oh my god. How, how about you, Angelique? If you were taller, if you were shorter, if you were. Oh man. If I were taller. Uh, if I were taller, I. I wouldn't go to any concerts, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I were taller, I would sit in the back of the movie theater. <laughs> so you don't block the view for other people. Yes, I think because the the cinemas in France, I think they're very. Some of them are very flat. 
they're older, so they're not really on the slant. So mm. when you have someone who's taller, um, it's not the same as the United States where it's like it's, it's quite on a slant, so it's okay. So. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, Tatiana, you've been an English teacher. Very good. In her dreams. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tony. Um, Tony's answer. If I had bought more lipstick, I could have painted my lips. What's Why not? Theo, what's Theo saying? <laughs> Theo. <laughs> Theo, hello. So if I were taller, I would slap here every day. Theo, I, I am taller and I can tell you right now, uh, yes, I do slap here every day. <laughs> <laughs> Like slap down or slap up, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, here, here's a good one. Oh, oh, Ines, if I were flexible, I would be better in yoga. So we could say, uh, I would be better at yoga. That would be really cool. Yeah, uh, I'm not. Are you flexible, Drew? No, <laughs> no, it's a short answer, but just no. No, no, no. Tony, if there wasn't a quarantine, I would go to Maya's Ponte Lungo School in Rome. Mm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Do you think we should uh, move on to the next? Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so we kind of... Um, asked this question already so sort of if you if you won a million dollars uh um but the only difference is if you won a million dollars in the lottery and you had to spend it in 10 days um strange. yeah that is strange and then uh what would you do if you had the chance to travel around the world all expenses paid for seven days but would lose your job in the meantime and the last, what would you do if you left something in a locked building? So I want to see your uh, comments. What would you do if you had the chance to travel around the world, all expenses paid for seven days, but would lose your job in the meantime? Um, mm. Mm. Seven and days is not a long time to travel around the world, is it? No. Uh, what if it were 20 days? Would that change the situation? 20 days but lose your job? Hmm. Oh, I think it's not long enough, is it? No. I don't Seven months. Seven months, I think. Bye-bye, Maez. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Seven months is a long time to travel, all expenses paid. Right. And then maybe I could come back and say, oh, please, 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 can I have my phone back? I bought you a souvenir. Here's a bottle of rum from the yeah, camp. Yeah. Souvenir from every country I visited. Please take me back. Well, what about you? What about you? Seven days? Would you do it? No. I. So if I had the chance to travel around uh, for seven days and I would lose my job, I, I would not do it. Seven days is definitely not long enough. Uh, it's not mm. enough time, I don't think. Um, no, but no. like you said, if if it were seven months, maybe. Uh, <laughs> a million lottery tickets. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like if I had three wishes, I would uh, wish for a million more. Pierre, 20 days for Pierre, he would he would ditch his job, finish his job. Mm. Monica. Monica, no, I wouldn't lose my job. It would be terrible. Yeah, mm. it, it would be terrible. It would be terrible, yeah, it would be terrible. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't sure, know. I'm not sure how long it would take for me because obviously, where's my hands? <laughs> where, where are my hands? Seven days? No. Two weeks? I'm so confused by this camera. Two weeks? No. One month? 
no, where is my limit? Six months, maybe six months. I think, I think maybe a year. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe a year. If you're listening, Fabio, sorry, <laughs> but. I am, I'm trying to put his comment on the screen and I don't know why, but I can no longer remove or add comments. Oh no. Which is, which is concerning to me. Is it a, a little glitch maybe? I, yeah. Um, Everything else. Is working okay? Yeah. So I can't, can't remove Monica's comment and I can't add more comments, which is very odd. That's weird. Uh-oh. Oh no, I think we lost. Oh, he's coming back again. Maybe the connection was a, a, just a bit slow uh, for Drew. But if you, um, Fabio says to us, uh, not leaving your job. Oh, there we go. Uh, well done, guys. Correct answer. Um, yeah, if we, I think, for us if we... I oh there we go <laughs> I don't know what's happening here I think we were thrown out and let back in I was just talking to myself it's okay yeah, yeah everybody here in the comments and just me uh, but you're the the clicking has started to work again I was talking about Monica's comment here uh, where she says one month maybe for her Ooh, one month. Speaking of one month, Ooh. three also one month. Yay. Sorry, guys. Marie fancies a holiday. I think so. Yeah. And for and for Claudia, Claudia, if I won a million dollars in the lottery, I would buy property and maybe book a book a travel, book a trip. Ah, uh, yeah, book a holiday, book a trip. It's strange, actually. I hadn't noticed that. What would you do if you won a million dollars in the lottery? Like, for me, I would never say in the lottery. I, I would always say on the lottery. Is that an English thing? What would, what would you say? So I would just say if I won the lottery. No, in, no, on. <laughs> Omit the preposition altogether. Just sitting on the fence. <laughs> yeah. If if I won, because if I were not to give it a numerical, uh, you know, a million or two, if I say if I won the lottery, mm -hmm. would you put a preposition if there if there you know wasn't a number? Mm, if I won the yeah, if I won the lottery, if I won the lottery, or maybe if I won a million pounds on the lottery for me. Hmm. So it's it's funny because we have so many different prepositional phrases, mm. different between British English and American English. Um, I know it's a bit uh, not uh, what would you do, but for example, for the back, Drew, if you're pointing to someone who's who happens to be standing uh, in the back of the room, mm -hmm. what would you say in the, at, in the back of the room? At the back of the room. Yeah, so I think that's it. Maybe at the back. Who's who's in the who's that? At? <laughs> uh, maybe. So it's a uh, um. Catherine, if I won a million dollars in a poker match, for example, in for games, perhaps, is the lottery a game? I suppose because if I. If I were betting on something, and if I said I won, I won twenty euros on. I would say on the game and not on the in game. I won, yeah, I bet on a horse race. Right. I bet on the World Cup. Maybe it's bet on game. Hmm. Yeah, games of chance, games of probability. Maybe on. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Hey, it's George. I would buy Angelica house and invite myself to stay there anytime I wanted. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know this man? Uh, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Um, John. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> it's just an admirer from the internet. John, where would the house be? I, I might take you up on the offer depending on where the house is. <laughs> oh, Tony. <laughs> if I won the lottery, I would spend all, all the money for myself. Really? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. And I see Catherine in a competition. Ah, the last question. Mm. Uh, Drew, do you want to read the last question? What would you do if you left something in a locked building? Interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> this is your brother. Thank you, George. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I suppose it depends on what it was that right. you left in the building. Like if you left your phone mm -hmm. at work and it was locked for the weekend, what would you do? I think I would pretend like it would be okay <laughs> and then say oh it's fine but uh if i left my phone uh at work or in locked building i would leave it until the next week you would be happy with your no phone for the weekend <laughs> uh, yeah yes i would be i think pierre pierre would break in Ooh. and of violence pierre <laughs> And Etienne too. Etienne, you'd call the police. Maybe, but it it depends on what it is. What what about you guys? Uh, so in the comments, if you left something in the building, if you left your bag, your purse, mm. uh, or your wallet in a locked building, Drew, what would you do if you left your wallet? My wallet. I I would. If it's for the weekend, I would probably be okay with no wallet for the weekend. Maybe borrow some money from a friend if I needed to, or uh, just ask strangers on the street for money, see mm -hmm. how kind they were. <laughs> yeah, I think I would. I think I would be okay for a weekend with no wallet. Would you just ask strangers, or would you sing, or I might like sing, or I might uh, like scruffy myself up a bit to to look more deserving of money. <laughs> Ooh, I would go bananas. What a good expression. Go bananas. Expression. What does it mean to go bananas, Drew? I think it means to go crazy, to go wild, to... Ah. <laughs> Monica would call the police. I don't know. Would they listen? Hello, so. police. I've I've left my phone in the office. What would they say? Wait till Monday. I think. Yeah, maybe. I think it depends. I think if if it's a building you are you have access to any other day of the week except for the weekend, I think they would not come but maybe if it were um a building that you don't have access to it could be a little bit different see atn as well would do the same as you drew he would ask ask to my friend i would ask my friend to pay for me yeah, yeah you can see who your good friends are see who your real friends are who has money. <laughs> yeah, see who your rich friends are. Yeah. Cool. Should we should we get into it? Should we move on? Yeah, I think so. Should we uh <laughs> we ha we have to ask this question. Actually the mm. next three. Drew, do you want to read the questions? Yeah, uh what would you do if you could spend 20 minutes talking to the president of your country? What would you do if a famous movie star worth millions of dollars knocked on your apartment door and asked you to marry him or her? And what would you do if a dog on the street started talking to you in English? Hmm. Okay. Um, 
question number one is great. So I'm going to ask Drew these questions and I want to see in the comments, what would you do if you could spend 20 minutes talking to the president of your country? Um, so Drew, <laughs> I'm laughing already, just anticipating mm. the answer. So what would you do if you could spend 20 minutes talking to the president of your country? Well, first up, I do not have a president. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, because I'm from Britain, so I have a prime minister, Boris Johnson. Yeah. Boris Johnson. Uh, if I could speak 20 minutes talking to Boris Johnson, I would... Uh, all of my all of my thoughts are maybe too offensive for this webinar so i would i would ask him uh why the conservative government have reduced the funding for the national health service for years and years and years and years and now all of a sudden are surprised that it's uh, struggling to cope with coronavirus mm -hmm. because they are the ones who reduce the funding for it do you think they would have a good answer for you or Boris Johnson would probably talk for about four hours and say nothing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and of course he's not available now because poor old Boris is in hospital, which is ironic because he's making use of the national health service that his political party have helped to damage. Mm. Mm. What would what would you do if you could speak uh, if you could spend twenty minutes talking to President Trump? Um, there are some really great questions. I'm sure I could ask him. I'm sure a lot of people have a million questions they'd like to ask Trump. Um, not I don't have any that are specific for Trump because we could go yeah. all day about that. But any presidency, I have just really silly questions like, um, like, are any conspiracy theories true? Or uh, do aliens exist? I yeah, don't know. All the, all the secret files. Yes, I, I want to read, I, you know, secret files, secret documents, things like that. Um, but then, of course, we could get into the more political standpoint. Who shot JFK? Yes. And was uh, Marilyn Monroe an inside job? Yeah. Claudia, I would tell the president that uh, he should change a lot of Italian laws. Mm. Fabio, <laughs> I love how quickly this is spiraling into a topical satire talk show. We'll nip it in the bud, Fabio. Maybe. 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 <laughs> uh, what would you do, Angelique, if a famous movie star worth millions of dollars knocked on your door and asked you to marry them? It, I think if anyone knocked on my door today, I wouldn't answer it, to be honest. <laughs> um, but it really... it. No, I don't know. It depends. It's quite strange. I don't think there's anyone that uh, I would swing the door open and invite in. No. You know, I don't. I'm not really feeling it. Brad, Brad Pitt. No, he's not yeah. really. Well. No. <laughs> what about you? What would you do if a famous movie star worth millions of dollars knocked on your door? I mean, it's a strange right. idea that somebody just knocks on the door and says, hi, will you marry me? Right. Yeah, it's very strange. Um, depends on the star, of course. Who would it have to be for you to just, like, you know, scream with joy? Call me shallow, but maybe an attractive female. Like, if it's, if it's Woody Allen, if it's Gerard Depardieu, I'm saying no. Yeah. But... Oof. I don't know, Natalie Portman, probably. Ooh, okay, that's a good choice. I think so. I can't really think of any any you know male celebrities that. How how about this one? What about Justin Bieber, Angelique? <laughs> I... would, you, would you make an exception for the Bieber? Maybe 
maybe in in 2015, but not not 2020. Justin Bieber. You prefer uh, the, the classic? No, that that's 2010. Justin Bieber. I I prefer you know uh, I think like 2015. Justin Bieber was um, you know when those like hits came out. I think it was like What Do You Mean? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Do, do. That that Justin Bieber, but now he's looking a little bit disheveled. Ooh, um, good word. Yeah, he's, he's uh, no, hasn't looked like he's not taking care of himself, you know. So, yeah. mm. Tatiana, if, uh, the, the the presidential question: If I could spend twenty minutes talking with my president, I would suggest to him to raise the pension and lower the retirement age in Russia. Mm. Marie, if Brad Pitt knocks on the door, it's a strong yes. Capital letters. Yes. Strong yes there. Marie, what if he knocked on the door and he was holding two puppies? <laughs> a puppy in each hand. <laughs> Catherine thinks I'm shallow. That's okay. Maybe I am. Yeah. Fabio. <laughs> And the wife, I've, I've taken on the female role in the marriage. Probably you, true because Gerard Depardieu is like five times my size. I was gonna say, are you, are you the big spoon or the little spoon? I think with, with Gerard, I'd be the little spoon, definitely. I, I don't know, I imagine him wanting to be the little spoon. Like you'll have to alternate. I couldn't, um, I couldn't even like, I couldn't get around him. He's just too no. big. <laughs> He's too big. Probably stop. Like, uh, where are my where are my hands? <laughs> <laughs> Here, no. Ooh. And Claudia likes Ben Affleck. Or maybe, maybe she's saying if it's Ben Affleck, no way. So <laughs> won't answer the door. I don't know. Ben Affleck would be maybe maybe a good choice. Mm. I can't. I, mean, I wish I had an answer. I went, me, see, every time I think, I'm thinking like Orlando Bloom, first Pirates of the Caribbean, now. Mm -hmm. But. This is uh, Marie thinking about Brad Pitt holding two puppies. <laughs> OMG. OMG. I like her next comment. I'm just dying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what a. About our last question, what would you do if a dog on the street started talking to you in English? So I have to preface, I think if the dog just started talking, I mean, any language. Any language. <laughs> um, but what would you uh, do, Drew? What would you do if a dog started talking to you in English? If a dog started talking to me in English, I would... I'm searching for a comedy answer, as always. But I think, to be honest, I would I would maybe call a psychiatrist. Yeah. <laughs> call a doctor. Some problems. Yeah. We've been in quarantine for too long, I think. Yeah. yeah. And what, what would you do if a, if a dog started talking to you in English? Oh, I would maybe I would take it home with me. Is this a stray dog? Is this someone's dog on a leash? Whose dog is this? Is this just a dog coming up to me? Yeah. Uh, I've got questions and they don't have answers. So uh, I, <laughs> I would, yeah, maybe I would, <laughs> I would ask the dog, how's life treating you? How's life treating you? Yeah. Catherine, breaking out the comedy, prepare yourself. Call a doctor. Oh, good one. Or call a doctor. Pierre. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <clears throat> ah. It depends on the level. It depends on the level of English the dog can speak. Would you invite it into my S and, uh, and teach it if it were a low level dog? Well, if it's native, it could be a teacher. Mm. Could be a teacher, sure. maybe. That would be a, a good selling point. <laughs> um, Monica, Monica the third, I say, oh my God, I would need a doctor. Agreed. Agreed. 
Same for Claudia. Claudia, yes. Uh, I can't see from here. So where am I? Hide my current ticker. Are you going to put a one out? a question, but I think it's gone a bit funny again. It's not, uh, it, my thing keeps freezing and stopping and freezing and stopping, so no. I don't know. Does that, are we going to lose you again? No. <laughs> Maybe. Well, why don't we get into our uh, third conditional then? Before yeah, we don't have long. We don't have long. No. Um, I, I had seen, I think it was Tony, already showed us uh, how to use the third conditional. So I scroll gonna, back, maybe I can find it. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to show us the third conditional. Um, third conditional. Where is it? While Drew's scrolling. So when we have the third conditional, of course, comes after the second, um, we use it if plus, ah, if plus past perfect with would have plus past participle. Um, and so we have a few examples here, Drew, if you want to read the examples. Mm. Uh, so the examples, if I had studied harder, I would have graduated. Mm. If I had been born in England, I would have been fluent. If I hadn't slept in, I wouldn't have been late to the class. Mm. So in this so, first example, oh no, that's okay. okay. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say that in this first example, if I had studied harder, so meaning in the past I did not study hard and I did not graduate. So I didn't study, I didn't graduate, but if I had, then I would have. Absolutely. And for, let's see, if I had been born in England, I was not born in England, well, it doesn't relate to me because I am fluent anyway, but uh, <laughs> I'm not born in England. So maybe if one of you, if, you're, if you were born in England, you would be a, a fluent native speaker. Mm. Oh, what is that? Fabio is talking about the dog. Yeah. <laughs> the devil would be quite poor. Is that an expression, Fabio? Who knows? Okay, so I want to show us some uh, some examples. Um, I'm going to just show us a few of the questions here. Uh, Drew, do you want to uh, choose a question to ask everybody? Mm, um, let me just move that comment. It was a good comment, so it's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame to lose it. Uh, what would you have done if... Let's go to ancient Egypt. What would you have done if you had been born in ancient Egypt? I like Pierre's comment here. If I hadn't taken those drugs, <laughs> I wouldn't have seen that dog speaking English. <laughs> Very nice. Good. So, what so, would you what would you have done if uh, you had been born in ancient Egypt? Hmm. Oh, I need to think about this. Oh my gosh. Um. I have to think of a of an answer. What? But as I'm thinking, Drew, what what would you have done? What would if, I have done? Yeah. If you had been born in ancient Egypt. I think. If I if I had been born in ancient Egypt, I probably would have been a slave. <laughs> I don't know. Had, I had a lot of slaves back then. Maybe I would have been a like cat god emperor. Mm. Maybe I would have um, designed pyramids. I don't know. Uh, Monica, when when we use the second third conditional. I think she's not sure possibly when we use the second or third conditional. Yeah. 
So the second, the second conditional is when we have a hypothetical situation, but it's in the present or possibly the future. And the third conditional is when we have uh, things in the past. We imagine how the past could be different. So with, uh, so what would you have done if you had been born? I think if I had been born in ancient Egypt, I would have been, um, maybe because I'm tall and old, I would have been a god because they did not live very long and they were quite short, I believe. Mm -hmm. so. Or no, maybe not. Maybe I would have uh, I would have died at the age of I don't know, very young, <laughs> some disease. <laughs> no. Tony, if I had studied harder, I would have spoken English like a native speaker. Nice. Uh, Pierre, if I had been born in ancient Egypt, I would have been able to go to Alexandria's library. One of these seven wonders of the ancient world. Mm -hmm. Very it, nice. burnt, it burnt down, didn't it? Did somebody burn it down? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, let's see. Can we remove, yeah, <laughs> get rid of Pierre's comment. Um, Drew, what Drew and everybody in the comments, what would you have done if you had met Princess Diana? If I had met Princess Diana, I would have told her maybe not to go to Paris on holiday. Oh no. Mm. Mm. The benefit of hindsight. Yeah. If I had studied something different at university, I would have chosen human rights. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Agreed. I would have told her not to marry Charles. Absolutely. Do you like Charles? Me? Yeah. Um, I have no strong feelings on Prince Charles. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't really know what to think about him. Okay. Soon to be King Charles, maybe. What yeah. about Camilla? What, what about? Camilla. I thought for a second, I thought you said, what about Hitler? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, Camilla. no, I think. Uh, Camilla, like, I don't know, in, in one respect, they've got a nice love story, Charles and Camilla, because they got together, they separated, they got together. Mm. But at the same time, they, I don't know. It's a tricky situation. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky situation. Um, we, we might have to finish, I think, 349. If I had spoke in English daily, I would have had fluent English. One little thing, we need a past participle, past participle with past perfect. So if I had spoken, if I had spoken English daily, I would have had fluent English. Very good. And Tony, what's wrong with Charlie? Everything is wrong with Charlie. A life of privilege. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe Tony is a royalist. <laughs> Sorry if I offended anybody, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, we had some really, really great answers with our second and third conditional. As Drew said, second conditional for a hypothetical situation when we're making a wish. Uh, something that we would like to happen, maybe it's, it's not possible. Um, and the third conditional is in the past. Uh, it's, uh, we're looking in the back. It's not possible anymore. 
Yeah, something in the past with a hypothetical consequence. Mm. Um, so thank you very much for watching, everybody. I can see some people already saying goodbye. Uh, Tatiana, we miss you too. We miss you too. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely afternoon. Antonio, bye-bye. See you. See you, Johnny. Uh, so thank you very much, everybody. We're going to say goodbye now. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you, Angelique. Thanks, Drew. Thanks a lot. Always fun. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs> bye.